We're back. You're watching Inside Houston. Shad Barkany is still with us and he has more information to give us on real estate. Now, Shad, yes. we talked about the pros. You gave us a great example of the pros of home ownership versus renting. Mm -hmm. Do you have tips for college graduates that, that are going to be making those first decisions about housing right after college? Yes, I do. I would encourage them to go out and try to purchase a home. Interest rates are currently historically low. So if you're Tell coming out of college, if you're coming out of college right now, and the thing that you need to keep in mind is you're getting, making sure your credit's in line because you know when you got to college, they started sending you all these credit cards. And so <laughs> one of the biggest holdbacks from people purchasing homes is credit. And so That's it's true. really important that they go into the marketplace once they get that job they go into the marketplace and look for a home. Because it doesn't make sense when interest rates are at 4%, why would you be trying to uh, rent something at 11, 12, $1,300? And he says, well, you know, I, this is my first house. I don't know where I want to live. You can always turn it into rent property. Absolutely. Yeah, so I encourage first time home buyers to buy, especially those coming out of college. You have to keep in mind in the African-American community, 42% of us own homes. The, remote, the majority of people who are watching us today probably do not own their home. Oh, okay. And so we've got to start early in encouraging these kids when they come out of college to go purchase that home, not buy, buy the car, not buy <laughs> the fancy clothes. Right. It's something that can grow well. Right. I just shared with you that in 1997, if you had bought a house, 20 years later, it's doubled. And that is so true. I, I just encourage the... Um, college grads to get going. I, I saw something the other day that really was a moment to me as a realtor, was that most people with masters, MBAs, black MBAs, the majority of them are renting. And oh, wow. that blows me away because they've got the next level of education. But mm -hmm. sometimes one of the challenges for college students is that they've got the college debt. That's true. Coming out from loans. That's true. It's almost a house note to itself. But if you can go out and rent an apartment for thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars a month, right? You surely can take that money and invest. In that is so true. It's the same amount of money, mm -hmm. and the rental amount that you explained yeah. earlier is about the same as home ownership. Yeah. Okay. What about first-time home buying as well as investment property? Well, let's start with first-time home buying. Okay. There are a lot of programs out there to help you purchase a home if you're a first-time home buyer. Mm -hmm. A lot of them. Are guided by income guidelines. You still have to have at least a 620 credit score. 620. Okay. Some of the programs may give you 15,000, some may give you 25,000 based on your income. Okay. Most, more importantly, that you also have the mortgage credit certificate program, which is called the MCC, which would take off about $166 off your note. There is no reason we're one of the most affordable major cities in this country that people should be renting. And it's very sad because they just don't know. And people tend to feel, watching your show, they'll have a better idea of it now. But we do surveys, and most people think they need 20% down to purchase a home. Oh. And you really don't need that much to purchase a home. Okay. Has the cost of buying a home gone up? Yes, it has. But if you have the right team, the right lender, the right realtor, somebody to guide you through the process, we can make this happen for a reasonable amount of money. Oh, that's great. Now, that was MCC? Mortgage Credit Certificate. We okay. call it the MCC. The MCC. It's a tax credit program. Remember when President Obama a couple of years, a few years back, had the $8,000 tax credit? Right. Well, it's the same program, but the MCC gives you a $2,000 tax credit every year versus that one-time credit. Okay. Viewers, did you hear that? M-C-C. <laughs> Great program. And what about investment property? Well, you know, Houston is a hot market. I think if I'm an investor, I'm going to watch my numbers really well. I don't think I would do as much flipping as I would yeah, okay. buying and renting out. Keep in mind, I was telling you that rents are at fourteen, fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars a true. month. That's well, true. what's hurt, hurting the market a little bit is investors are now getting in, buying those houses under a hundred, fixing them up. Why not take the risk? Because I've got something that's going to go up in value, and then turn around and rent it out. And rent it out. out. So investors, you, in my opinion, you buy low end. 
is where the money is. It's not buying a $200,000 house okay. and then renting it out. You're probably going to have some negativeness in your monthly payment. The money is made in the low-end market. It is not made in the high-end. Oh, it may be to great know. to say I bought an investment property for 200000 but more than likely, you're not making any money on that property. Oh, you're that's... hoping for appreciation. Okay, so you have that's to, good to really know. understand what's going on. And there are several groups around town where you can be trained to invest. It's not on this late night TV stuff. It's not about going to class. You can listen to a lot of different programs and get a lot of free information on investing in real estate here in Houston. Well, thank you, Shad, thank so you. much for sharing so much information. Tell our viewers how they can reach you. Please, if you give your website address, okay. telephone number, and give it a couple of times. Okay. We want our viewers to know how to reach Shad Bogganing. Well, you can reach me at 713-667-1000, or you can go to the website, the shadbogganingteam.com. You can search for homes on this website, and you can listen to me at KWWJ, 1360 AM, the longest running radio show in the country on real estate 20s on Tuesdays from 6 15 to 7 15 we share this information so instead of you sitting there and paying somebody for this information you can listen to my show every Tuesday and get it 6 15 to 7 15 p.m. and thank you Linda for inviting me. oh thank you so much thank you we'll be right back